another 2% cashback credit card to add to the list. So far, I've covered the PayPal 2% cashback MasterCard and also the City Double Rewards 2% cashback credit card. Today, I'll be talking about the SoFi 2% cashback credit card, and this was released by SoFi, or at least they made it known about a week ago. If you want this card, you can join the waitlist to get it if you haven't already received an invite. And in this video, I'll be going over all the details of this new credit card that we have so far. So be sure to stick around to the very end of this video. Also, if you're new to the channel or seeing me for the very first time, my name is Ian and I post personal finance related videos here on YouTube every day. So if this kind of content interests you, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to the channel and this way you'll be able to get the updates from this channel every day when I post a new video here. Now, SoFi, if you don't already know, has a lot of products to offer. They have the SoFi Money account, which is a hybrid account that gives you the best of both checking and savings account features in one account. And I actually use that account and recommend it as well. SoFi also offers loans and SoFi Invest as well, where you can purchase stocks, ETFs, and even crypto. The only thing that was missing was a credit card. So SoFi is about to release this new SoFi credit card, which will give you 2% in cash back. However, this 2% is if you redeem your cash back with SoFi, which just means you can use it towards a loan or investments or just put the money in your SoFi money account. So it's still going to be 2% in cash back. Now, the way this works is that you actually get 1% cash back on all purchases. And then when you redeem it in another SoFi product, you'll get a matching 1%. So for someone like myself, since I already have a SoFi Money account, this would make a lot of sense because I would redeem that cash back to my SoFi Money account and get the full 2%. However, if you simply apply for the credit card and you don't have the SoFi Money account or another SoFi product like the SoFi Invest or a loan from them, then you'll only be getting 1% from the card. Now, if you haven't used SoFi before and you don't have an account with them, this shouldn't be a big issue since the SoFi Money account is easy to sign up for and it's also free and that's the reason I use it. It's free, it gives you interest, and you pay no ATM fees and also no ATM fees when you travel. So it's a really, really good account. And if you ever decide to use this account, feel free to use my link down below and you'll receive some free cash just for doing so. So if you already have a SoFi account, then the card will give you 2%. If not, then sign up for a free account, which could be the SoFi Money account or the SoFi Invest and then apply for the credit card and you'll still get 2% in cash back. So everything here is totally free. So now that I've explained that part, let's get into the details of the card, or at least what we know so far. So this card is going to be a MasterCard, just as the SoFi Money debit card is, and it will be issued by the Bank of Missouri. I don't know much about that bank, but if you do, drop me a comment down below and let me know how they are. Now, the card keeps up with the competition very well, and it comes with no annual fees, which is also very good. So you get a free account here, you get interest on your money, you get a free credit card as it costs you nothing, and you also get 2% in cash back. However, SoFi takes things a step further by offering another feature which doesn't apply to me and I hope it doesn't to you, and this is reducing interest or APR. So let's say you use the credit card to make a purchase and you didn't have enough money to pay the credit card bill in full. And so you decided to make the monthly payments or the minimum monthly payments. Usually with a credit card, you'll pay interest at whatever the rate is for the duration of the debt. SoFi, however, reduces the APR by 1% after you make 12 months of at least the minimum on-time payments on any debts you have on this credit card. So let's say you get this card and you have a balance on the card and you pay the minimums monthly. If the interest rate was 19%, then after 12 months of paying on time, that APR would be reduced to 18%. Now, this may not be a really big deal, but it is better than the other credit cards because they'll continue to charge you the same amount of interest until you pay the balance completely off. So don't get into debt and don't keep a balance on your credit card. But if you ever get yourself in that situation, your APR will go down by a percent after 12 months. Now, the card is not available for anyone or everyone to apply just yet, and you'll have to receive an invite to apply for it now. If you haven't received that invite, then you'll have to join a waitlist. 
However, SoFi plans to make the card available to everyone early in 2021. Now, I actually forgot to mention the name of the card. It's called the SoFi World Elite MasterCard. Now, the card is called the World Elite MasterCard because it comes with some perks, and these include a cell phone protection coverage, which allows you to receive up to $1,000 if your cell phone is lost, stolen, or damaged. You also get MasterCard's ID theft protection, which is identity protection services, as a perk with this World Elite MasterCard, and some other partner rewards when you shop with partners, and some of these will include Postmates or Lyft, as well as others. And I've used Lyft with my SoFi debit card before and they give you an additional discount, I think of around $14, so that's cool. Now, I read through the agreements and conditions for this credit card and two important things that I want to mention here before you get this credit card are that one, you won't be able to do any manufactured spending with this card. So if you purchase gift cards to get cash back and then return them, then that won't work because cash advances, gift cards, and anything that gives you cash won't earn you any rewards. Now, most credit cards are doing this now in an effort to combat manufactured spending. Also, more importantly, and secondly, if you have a balance on this credit card and you don't make the minimum payment by the due date, then all purchases you made during that billing cycle will no longer be eligible to earn you any cash back. So if you miss a payment or you don't pay by the due date, then no cash back for you. Very important that you keep that in mind. So unlike other credit cards where once you spend, you get cash back, with this one, if you miss a payment, then you get no cash back for that billing period. Also, just as with the SoFi Money debit card where you don't pay foreign transaction fees, you also don't pay any foreign transaction fees with this credit card if you choose to travel and use it outside of the US, which is a very good feature. This was one advantage that the PayPal 2% cashback credit card had over the City double cashback credit card, and now SoFi offers it, so if you like traveling but you don't want to use PayPal or to get PayPal's credit card, then this is another alternative or option for you. And of course, you could also just use the SoFi money debit card because you pay no foreign transaction fees with that card as well. Now, overall, the card seems okay. I would sign up for it, however, at this point in time, I don't need another credit card. There are also two things I didn't like about this credit card, and again, they aren't really bad, but it's just that the competition offers these, so I think SoFi should have offered more here. So the first thing is that there is no sign-up bonus. So unlike the City 2% cashback card, you don't get $200 or $400 on your first statement as a statement credit for signing up here, and sign-up bonuses are getting very popular with credit cards now, but you won't get one with this new SoFi World Elite MasterCard. Also, there is no mention of a balance transfer or at least any introductory 0% APY or APR offers. So unlike the other credit cards where you can sign up and transfer a balance and get a year or 15 months to pay with no interest, SoFi isn't offering that here. I think if they were to offer a special introductory 0% APR, then more people would run to apply for this credit card. So those are the two downsides that I see. Now overall, I think the card is great and I have used the SoFi debit card and I've had no problems. It works just fine and I would sign up for this card but I really don't need another 2% card right now. However, if you were looking for a 2% flat cashback card, I would definitely look at the City Double Rewards credit card, the PayPal 2% cashback credit card, and the SoFi World Elite MasterCard, all of which I've reviewed here on this channel. Comment down below and let me know what you think about this new World Elite MasterCard from SoFi. Do you like it? Have you received an invite for it? And do you think that this card provides good enough value? Comment down below. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, then give this video a thumbs up as that's the way these videos get recommended to more people and can potentially help someone out as well and I'll really appreciate it. And also guys, giving this video a thumbs up is completely free. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos here on the channel on banking apps, savings accounts, investments, ways to make money and more on credit cards. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and be sure to turn on all notifications for this channel as that's the only way you'll be able to get the updates of when I post new videos. And remember, I'll be posting a new video here every single day. Now, I'm also leaving a couple of links down below to free stuff and free cashback offers, which includes a link to SoFi Money or the SoFi Money account, where you can get some free cash just for signing up. So be sure to check all the links down below in the description. 
Once again, I hope this video was very helpful. All the best and I'll see you guys tomorrow.